नमस्कार आई कृष्ण कुमार मिश्रा वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द टूडेज डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग आर दैट कोल्ड वेव कंडीशन आर लाइकली ओवर नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया एंड मध्य प्रदेश ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट थ्री फोर डेज एंड कोल्ड एव कंडीशन आर लाइकली टू डिक्रीज इन इंटेंसिटी फ्रॉम टूडे एंड ग्रेजुअली अबेट देर आफ्टर फ्रॉम टूमोरो ऑनवर्ड्स इफ यू लुक इन टू द Uh, observed features then dense to very dense fog in isolated pockets have been observed in punjab and haryana and uttar pradesh and dense fog in uh, east rajasthan cold to severe cold conditions are prevailing over uh, over punjab haryana chandigarh delhi and west madhya pradesh and cold conditions are prevailing over uh, uttarakhand east madhya pradesh up east rajasthan vidarbha and gujarat states as far as minimum temperatures are concerned they are uh, below normal by 2 to 4 degree centigrade over most parts of northwest and central india and are above normal by 1 to 3 degree centigrade over east india if you look into synoptic features then the wd which caused uh, uh, intense activity over uh, over the plains of northwest india is uh, now seen as a remnant, uh, remnant uh, cyclonic circulation over northwest up and neighborhood in middle tropospheric levels and uh, there is a trough also associated with it uh, roughly along 78 degree longitude and there is also a, a lower level trough extending from southern parts of tamil nadu to south interior karnataka under the influence of these uh, uh, and in uh, and in lower levels also there are uh, north uh, westerly and north northwesterly winds are prevailing over the plains of uh, uh, northwest india central india and also over parts of uh, west india so under the influence of these conditions uh, these cold and dry winds conditions uh, the the cold day conditions uh, to severe cold day conditions are likely uh, during next 24 hours over uh, over uh, punjab haryana west up and uh, parts of rajasthan and parts of madhya pradesh and uh, they are likely to uh, abate from tomorrow onwards Uh, but the cold wave conditions are likely to appear as the winds in lower levels are strengthening uh, have strengthened today itself and are further likely to strengthen from tomorrow so under the influence of these the cold wave conditions over punjab haryana up uh, mp and and rajasthan are likely during next 3 days and after that as we are expecting a feeble western disturbance uh, over uh, to be to be affecting uh, western himalayan region from 29th of january so the minimum temperatures would rise from 29th of january so uh, the cold wave conditions would abate from the plains of northwest india from 29th of january onwards and as far as uh, rainfall giving systems are concerned so during this period there is no uh, significant rainfall giving Uh, uh system although isolated uh, rainfall over himachal pradesh and uttarakhand would continue during uh, next two days uh, and and uh, as a wd is coming to uh, affect north uh, western himalayan region from 29 so on 29th and uh, 30th of january uh, jammu kashmir ladakh gilgit baltistan muzaffarabad are likely to uh, likely to experience isolated rainfall and snowfall Uh, during 29th and 30th of january and uh, uh, as far as uh, western disturbances are concerned so only the the active western disturbance is uh, is expected from 2nd of january onwards so that we are monitoring con- uh, continuously and uh, if you come over to northeast india then the, here also the uh, there is no significant rainfall activity likely only only Uh, isolated thunderstorm activity is likely over all three subdivisions of uh, northeast india arunachal pradesh nagaland manipur mizoram tripura and and uh, uh, assam and meghalaya uh, during next 24 hours and over sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim there is a probability today of uh, of isolated hail storm activity also so uh, and and as far as uh, dense fog conditions so although although there is no large scale dense fog uh, appearance there over the plains of uh, north india uh, uh, however uh, iso- in isolated pockets at the stations like uh, ganganagar amritsar bhatinda hisar and agra the visibility is uh, for for uh, 
few hours only one to two hours visibility is uh, getting down uh, up to up to zero meter and 25 meter and 50 meter but but large scale fog uh, conditions are not being observed over the plains of northwest india and uh, since the cyclonic circulation in the lower levels over northwest up is likely to uh, become uh, less marked by tomorrow and so the current the cloudy conditions would, would also disappear from tomorrow and so the, the the dense fog conditions would also disappear from tomorrow and also the cold day conditions would disappear uh, from the plains of northwest india by from tomorrow so uh, however the isolated dense to very dense uh, uh, fog conditions would be observed over uh, uh, these uh, Punjab, Haryana, West UP, uh, MP and uh, and also parts of East UP. But that would uh, continue only only uh, up to tomorrow morning and from the, the day after tomorrow morning onwards, uh, the dense fog conditions would be lifted uh, from the plains of North India. So uh, this was all about uh, uh, Delhi weather briefing today. Tomorrow we will again meet with the Delhi weather briefing with weather warning for uh, next five days. Thank you and goodbye.